Hello, my name is Christopher Deerdal. I am the coordinator of the Meta Highlight project, and I work at Sintef as a research manager. Together with university partners from the University of Southern Denmark and Ulu University in Northern Finland, we are working on breakthrough optical components that can revolutionize the way we do cancer diagnostics. We're going to use invisible properties of light, what is known as polarization states, to extract information from tissue samples that we don't see with human eyes. We do this in a chip-based technology that can be miniaturized and produced in large volumes, offering unprecedented control and information at a low cost. Our technology relies on integrating nano-pattern surfaces into microchips that can be actuated and moved mechanically. This is hard enough to do just to make one device, but we want to do it in such a way that it can be mass-produced, and this is very challenging. The nano-patterns that we have are so small, they're 100 to 1,000 times smaller than the thickness of a human hair. But so far we've had successful outcomes of what we've tried, and it'll be very interesting to see where the project goes from here and onwards. Imagine you are by your doctor and you've decided to take a tissue sample to see if there's cancer present or not. How long would you be willing to wait? The current procedure takes time. It can go a week, maybe several weeks before you get an answer. And this is an incredibly long time. Our technology aims to radically speed up the process and provide those who examine the tissue with more information to make more accurate diagnosis in shorter time, which is very important for recovery. Today, optical technologies are some of the most powerful technologies we have to sense the environment around us or to take medical imaging, take imaging from satellites. The problem with optics is that it's usually very big, heavy and expensive systems. By integrating them onto a microchip, we can start to see some of the same enabling things that we've seen with electronics over the last 50 years. Imagine having optics in a drone, taking pictures of surfaces, having optics inside of your body, helping to analyze your health. There are many interesting applications in society once we manage to make optics small enough, cheap enough and light enough. My background started as a master within nanotechnologies, an interdisciplinary study at the University of Science and Technology. This gave me an interest into nano-optics and I did a PhD within metamaterials and I started working thereafter as a researcher in Sintef and I am now group leader within micro-optics. Thank you.